Gus, hard on the take last week, but having watched it back now, what do you make of the performance? Uh, very similar to directly after the game. It's it was frustrating. Um, I think we put a lot into the game. There was pace. There was quality. Um, I keep saying if we play like that, we'll, we'll win more than we lose, and we make sure we give ourselves an opportunity in games. We did that. We had opportunities against Commander. Um, some good defending from Commander. You know, preventing us getting uh, shots away. Um, goalkeeper had a couple of good saves as well. But uh, there was a lot of positive from the game. But you know, you just get that. Disappointment, frustration, you don't take in from it. Tough running the league as of late, but progression in the cup. Like, looking back at the past couple of fixtures, what do you make of them? Yeah, they've, they've been tough, but I think even in paper, you would have looked at them, you know, away to Partick this and away to Commander in the league. We're always going to be tough games. Um, as I said, if I compare the performance, you know, from Commander to Partick this, it was night and day, you know, so we can accept, you know, and, and analyse that from a positive manner. Uh, at Rugby Park, you know, this, the Celtic game, you know, we make quite a few changes in the team and let some younger players experience that as well. But, you know, they, they tried and trusted, you know, sort of formation or formula in terms of players, you know, comes back into place in the league fixtures as well. So that starts tomorrow against Ray Rovers. You know, they've been a bit mixed as well. They're similar to ourselves. They, you know, they went away from home against Air United, which I was at, and Thoroughly deserved to win the game and then slip up at home to Queen of South, similar to ourselves. So, it, again, we say it every week, you know, it just sort of shows the championship and the context that it is. So, yeah, looking towards tomorrow, another tough game against Ray, how's preparation been and what challenges are you expecting from them? Yeah, it, it's been, well, we know it'll be a tough game because of the players that they've been able to recruit as well and for a good couple of seasons. Um, and it's, you know, they've got the nucleus of the same group. Um, and that's a big factor as well that you know it's not been a lot of chopping and changing. Um, but they're a good team, good coaches, good manager, and we need to be at a similar level as we were against Kilmarnock if we're going to take in from the game. Just finally, team selection for tomorrow. Can you give us some info on that? Yeah, we'll get one or two missing again, just with, with different issues. Um, Kyle's still missing with, with COVID-related. Um, Cameron Blues is missing as well. There's, there, there seems to be a bug going about as well. It's you know not quite the COVID level, but it's uh, it affected Jack Hamilton uh, for the Celtic game in the cup. So we've got that issue as well. So it's it's very similar to what it's been in in recent weeks. We you think you're getting players back, and then suddenly someone changes your preparation. But again, we we'll say it becomes an opportunity then for players that that are desperate to play and. The, you know, the attitude and the application and training has been brilliant, so we've got to try and take that into the game.